page 537 in your Go Math workbook. So today it says, how can acting it out help you solve measurement problems? So we don't really have any like ribbons for you to cut or anything right now, but I definitely would suggest you have a piece of scratch paper nearby so that you can um, draw the lines on it. And I know it helps me if I use the colors that they're talking about. So if you have crayons or markers or some kind of coloring um, things available, you can use those. If not, you can use your pencil and just label the colors next to them, like right blue or orange or something like that. So here's our first problem. Go ahead and do this page with me. It says the blue ribbon is about four paper clips long. The red ribbon is one paper clip long. The green ribbon is two paper clips longer than the red ribbon. Measure and draw the ribbons in order from shortest to longest. Wow, that's a lot of information. So let's focus in a little bit. What do I need to find? So one of my main goals is that I need to order the ribbons from shortest to longest. Go ahead and trace those words. And then what information do I need to use? I need to measure the ribbons using paper clips. Go ahead and trace the word measure. All right, so let's go back up to our problem, our question. And um, I'm just gonna go step by step and use my scratch paper with my crayons as I read each clue. So it says the blue ribbon is about four paper clips long. Okay, so now I'm gonna use either my paper clips or my paper clip measuring tool that I made yesterday to measure a ribbon that is four paper clips long. Okay, so there's a representation of my blue ribbon. Now let's go to the next one. It says the red ribbon is one paper clip long. Okay, so now I'm going to use a measuring tool to make a red ribbon that's one paper clip long. All right, there's my red ribbon. Then it says the green ribbon is two paper clips longer than the red ribbon. Okay, so I know my red ribbon is one paper clip long. So then two more, one plus two would be three. So the green ribbon must be three paper clips long. Okay, so there's my green ribbon that is two paper clips longer than the red ribbon, which make, would make it three paper clips long. Okay, but then another one of my goals, like it said, was to order the ribbons from shortest to longest, right? So now I'm ready to write in my math journal. So now I'm going to do the shortest one first. So I'm gonna put that on top here. The shortest one is my red ribbon. So I'm gonna draw my red ribbon and make sure yet again that it's one paper clip long. Then the next one would be, you're right, the green ribbon. Okay, so there's my green ribbon. And then the longest one would be my blue ribbon. Okay, so now I put them in order from shortest to longest. Now the problem on the next page is actually gonna have you do your work and then it's gonna have you order them with the longest one on top and the shortest one on the bottom, okay? Let's take a look at that one now. All right, so now on page 538, it says Zach has three ribbons. The yellow ribbon is about four paper clips long. The orange ribbon is three paper clips shorter than the yellow ribbon. The blue ribbon is two paper clips longer than the yellow ribbon. Measure and draw the ribbons in order from longest to shortest. So that's what I was saying. Your longest one's going to go up here, then the next one, and then the very shortest one will go down at the bottom there. 
okay? But first you need that scratch paper so you can even figure out how long each of the ribbons is. So, get out your scratch paper, okay? Get ready to draw the yellow ribbon. So it says the yellow ribbon is about four paper clips long. Go ahead and measure your yellow ribbon and draw that now. Then once you're done with that, you're gonna measure the orange ribbon. The orange ribbon is three paper clips shorter than the yellow ribbon. Hmm, see if you can figure out how long the orange ribbon is and draw that. And then when you're done with that, it says the blue ribbon is two paper clips longer than the yellow ribbon. So figure out how long the blue ribbon is and measure that one out. Okay, so once you've done that, you can come down here and you should be able to see which ribbon is your longest. And you'll put, you'll draw that one right here. Make sure that it's how many paper clips long you want it to be still. And then write about how many paper clips long it is. Then the one that's a little shorter than that will go here. Then don't forget to write about how many paper clips long it is. And then your very shortest one is going to go down here at the bottom. Write about how many paper clips long it is. Then when you're ready, move on to page 539. It says solve, draw or write to explain. Number four says Lisa measures her shoe to be about five paper clips long. Measure and draw an object that is three paper clips shorter than her shoe. Measure and draw an object that is two paper clips longer than her shoe. Okay, so first on your scratch paper, I would measure a length that's five paper clips long and just kind of label it as a shoe. Then I would find what, um, then I just kind of do a line that's three paper clips shorter than her shoe. And then try to find an object around you that's about that long. Maybe it's an object in your school supplies. Maybe it's a toy. Okay, and then hang on to that for a minute. Then it says measure and draw an object that is two paper clips longer than her shoe. So go ahead and draw another line that's two paper clips longer than her shoe. And then I would find something around you that's that long. Once you've found two objects, one object that is three paper clips shorter than her shoe and an object that is two paper clips longer than her shoe, then go ahead and draw the objects here. And I'd also love it if you'd label how many paper clips long they are. Then when you're ready, go on down to number five. Number five has a math on the spot video if you have a QR code reader. You could watch that little video before you answer this question. It says Noah measures a marker to be about four paper clips long and a pencil to be about six paper clips long. Draw an object that is one paper clip longer than the marker and one paper clip shorter than the pencil. Okay, so you actually only need to draw one object. Okay, they're getting at one number. So um, one more than the four paper clip long pencil is going to be the same number length as one shorter than the six paper clip long pencil. Okay, try to find out that one number. You could use scratch paper, however you need to do it. And then when you figure out what length you're looking for, how many paper clips long you're looking for, then draw an object that's that many paper clips long. And then go ahead and write how many paper clips long it is. 
Then on page 540 is our mid-chapter checkpoint. So this is going to be reviewing um, several of the measurement skills we've been using. It says draw three crayons in order from shortest to longest. So you just get to draw a shortest crayon and then draw another crayon and then draw your longest crayon down here. Make sure that they all have the same starting point. Then on number two, it says to use math tiles to measure. So go ahead and use those math tiles that you made and measure how many math tiles long this piece of yarn is. Go ahead and write the number right here. Then when you get to number three, it says Kylie measures a package with her paperclip measuring tool which by the way is the same length as our paperclip measuring tool. About how long is the package? Circle your answer. Okay, it's one of these numbers. About how many paperclips long is this package? All right, first grade, great job with your measurement math this week. Next week we're gonna be learning about measuring time. So we'll be measuring in hours and minutes and we'll be using clocks and learning how to read them. I'm excited, yay!